Cavs hosting the Celtics, and the Celtics are six-point underdogs. The Cavs are minus 240 on the money line. The Celtics are plus 190. The over-under is 218.5. And, and just so you know, the Cavs are six-point favorites like you see right there. Now, the Celtics have lost their last two. The Cavs won the last game that they played. And before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are playing in this game. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings in one place. And then use a site like Covers.com. It'll allow you to compare how these teams have done individually, head-to-head, -head, against the spread, so on and so forth. Now, like I said last night, the Celtics were only three-and-a-half-point underdogs, and now they're six. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3 and three in their last 10. The underdog has covered the last three games. The underdog is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 6-4. and four. And the under 218.5 is 7-3. and three. But there's been a handful of games that are right there at 217 or 218. So it just depends on what you get this over-under at. The last one they played... The Celtics won 117-113. The game before that, the Cavs won 114-113 in overtime. The game before that, the Cavs won 132-123 to in overtime. And the game before that, the Celtics won 111-101. Three out of the last four, the home team has won. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Celtics are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They have not covered any of their last four games, and they're 5-5 five and five against the spread. The over is 7-3 in their last 10 games. We've had 260, 220, 230, and 203 points in their last four games. Now for the Cavs, they've covered their last three games. They are 6-4 and four against the spread as well, and they are 6-4 and four overall. So 6-4 and four against the spread, 6-4 and four overall. And the over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. We've had 204 points, 230 points. 211 points and then 256 points in their last handful of games cleveland is excellent at home and the celtics are slumping right now but i don't think that the Cavs are going to win big i do think that they will win i'm going to take cleveland with the money line i'm going to take boston getting as many possible points as i can right now it's six it probably will go up and i'm going to go under the 218 and a half these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly